You're looking at the Safety Siren Pro Series 3 radon gas detector. Now, I've had this for a few months now. The reason why I bought this over the other types of radon tests is that this gives you a test over a period of time because if you buy those little packets that you send in to have tested, um, what it doesn't tell you is the fluctuations in radon gas uh, throughout the uh, year and month even. Um, so I decided to buy this and also so I can test certain parts of my home. And um, I bought this on eBay. I'll put a link in the description below of where I picked it up from. Um, but uh, it has, it's very easy to operate. You plug it in and it takes a few days before you get a reading. So it'll just kind of sit there and then eventually you'll see your radon numbers. So right here it says 4.1. It is the, the EPA that suggests that anything over uh, 4.0 you should consider mitigating. Um, but I have noticed like it has been raining for the last um, three weeks, almost straight every day. And I'm in, I'm in the Salt Lake Valley in Utah, which is considered a uh, high radon area. Some parts of the country and parts of the world don't produce as much radon gas from the ground, but it's constantly flowing up. Um, so anyway, I've noticed that it goes higher, or it has been going higher, uh, the more rain. So I'm wondering if maybe the soil uh, moisture saturation is causing it to uh, funnel it into drier, to come out through drier areas. I don't know. Uh, but it does fluctuate. So that's why I got this. It has the L is the long term average. And then if I hold this down, S is the short term average. So as you can see, it's been. Okay, so that's the alarm. That's the alarm that goes off when it's over four. Um, but I've noticed, I mean, all I have to do is open a window and this will go down. It's not immediate, but it does lower the levels. Um, or if I open all the windows in my house and turn on the ventilation ducts, uh, the fans, just the fans, not the air conditioner, uh, it will also circulate this and out the windows. So there are some steps you can take without going through the expense of mitigation, although I think that does have merit but before you go that route it's worth reading uh, some other arguments about radon because there is radon everywhere you're breathing it in and there's some uh, scientists that uh, suggest that some radon may actually be good for you so um, I'll put a link to an article a well-written article that is from a local news channel of KSL um, of somebody who's kind of giving the other side of radon and their perspective and thoughts on the topic before you go and panic and think everyone's going to uh, get lung cancer who lives in their basement. So anyway, this is the Pro Series 3 radon gas detector. I like it better than the uh, little packets that you mail in. It's definitely a lot more expensive, but you can monitor the levels uh, throughout the throughout the month and throughout the seasons to see if maybe it just spikes once in a while or if you have concentrated high levels throughout the year. So I uh, hope that helps you in making your decisions of whether or not to purchase this or even to even worry at all about radon gas. I'm not so worried after I read the article, but uh, you know I'll let, leave it up to you. You form your own opinion. Thanks for watching. Please uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if I missed anything that you think is worth mentioning, uh, put that in the comments below. Thanks for watching.